here today and I'm talking all about rolls. Not the delicious rolls you eat with dinner or the rolls that we hate to have on our stomach, but the beautiful rolls that we do when we do vintage hair. There are so many different kinds of rolls and girls are always asking me what roll is which and how do you figure out what is what. So I figured I would put it all in a video, then you know what roll is what and then when you're searching for something you know exactly what to search for because otherwise you're like a vintage hair doodaddle or roll thingy and none of that will come up. I have also included links to videos for each type of roll, so you can actually see tutorials on how to do those rolls. So just look up along the top of your screen when I am going through each roll, and you will see links in the cards to each type of roll. So the first and most basic roll in vintage hairstyles is a barrel roll, and that is the roll that sort of goes up and then down towards your face. Um, it could go in either direction, but it rolls under. That is a barrel roll, and generally it's just one in the center of your head. It could be a giant one, it could be a little one, but if it's, a, if it's just that one single roll, it's considered a barrel roll. So the next roll is a reverse barrel roll, and that's pretty much exactly the same thing. Instead of it rolling down towards your face, it rolls up away from your face. So like the word says, it is a reverse barrel roll. Super simple. The most requested types of rolls from you guys for me are victory rolls. Now, victory rolls are named victory rolls because there are two of them on your head, so they form sort of a V shape, and that is why they are called victory rolls because they are a V for victory. And they became popular during World War II when women were patriotic and wore rolls in their hair. If you have only one roll or more than one roll, it is not actually technically considered a victory roll. It's only victory rolls if there are two of them on your head. They don't have to be symmetrical. You can have one that's big and one that's little or both that are the same size or whatever, but if there's two of them, they're considered victory rolls. So a variation of victory rolls would be a barrel roll with victory rolls, which would be the roll that goes down in the front, in the center, and then two victory rolls in the back. Now that isn't to be confused with triple victory rolls, which technically aren't victory rolls, but we call them triple victory rolls. So that would be when there's three rolls in the top on the top of your head that are exactly the the same size and they're placed in the same place so one roll isn't bigger than the other and one isn't sort of sticking out more in the front than the other ones and you can do quadruple victory rolls you can do as many rolls as you want in the front again like I said technically they're not victory rolls but we call them victory rolls so we have a frame of reference for them now one thing that it actually isn't technically a roll but it is kind of lumped in with rolls is a bumper bang so it is kind of a roll and it depends on how you do it so if you actually are putting a rat in your hair or a um, a hair donut not technically a roll because it's kind of going over something but I am seeing a lot of girls these days that are just sort of making the bumper bang by teasing their hair and then rolling it under so then it technically is a roll because you can kind of put your fingers in it so I am including it in this video but basically a bumper bang is just the bang that sort of rolls forward and creates kind of a faux bang. And then you can also do a bumper bang with victory rolls if you want, or a ponytail or whatever. The last type of roll that actually isn't super vintage, but is a nice modern sort of vintage hairstyle is a suicide roll. And that is a roll that rolls down onto your forehead and then up on one side or the other, either that way or this way. And it's kind of a roll that is flat against your head versus the rolls that kind of are up in the air with lots of volume. So hopefully that was useful and hopefully that clears up any confusion over what rolls are what. And also hopefully my links included help you to um, sort of figure out where you're going and navigate the wonderful world of vintage hair rolls. Please continue to subscribe and watch, and if there's any other videos you want to see, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, and be sure to check out these latest videos that I have posted, and also be sure to click the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you can see the new shenanigans coming your way.